Coming up next, the wait is over. We get to this matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. Hey guys, this is Mystery Jojo. Today I'll be showing you the welterweight championship between Bruce Lee and Diego Santos. I hope you guys can like it. Right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity but he is confident he is going to maximize it and lead as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. the reigning defending undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world and in a division that has so much depth in that top 15 it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted the question tonight with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner can he walk away and still tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Santos is five years the elder. He will have a four-inch reach advantage. The veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Diogo Mahenka And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your camera. So here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe this is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage. It's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going tonight. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his leg to give his opponent problems, trying to break up 
fight into a closer distance. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. Another massive body kick land. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbow's tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out, the jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. What a body kick. Santos, this could be the beginning of the end for his opponent. Can't take many of those. I mean, Santos has massive legs. It's like taking a baseball bat and hitting the rib. You have got to keep that elbow down. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Tiago Mahetta Santos. He is all about that left kick to the body. Big kick lands. here in round one. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Very interesting when he throws that body kick. And he switches his stance yet again. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Oh, lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. It looked like it did start him a little bit. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Big head kick lands. Oh, man, don't be afraid to raise the guard as another head kick lands. One more here, DC, and we could be having a referee coming in waving his arms. Waving it off. It could be over in an instant if you do not block head kicks. What a phenomenal job by the offensive fighters setting it up and you're throwing that head kick over the top. Nice job setting it up. Good job landing. Great offense. Beautiful body kick. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fights. Well, he's the tallest fighter in the land and knee to the body with relative ease there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. That's a really strong leg kick there by Lee. So let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Two. 
big ball for slam. Now we get back to range. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. Head kick partially blocked. Ball oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Nice head kick. Oh, nice. Nice. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. Stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Kick to the body by Lee. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Big leg kick land. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Whoa, strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that figure. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. All right, single collar tie now. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. So this is the welterweight championship between Bruce Lee and Diego Santos. Thank you guys for watching. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick over and over he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes too.